In today's rapidly evolving world, the circular economy concept has gained significant momentum as a powerful alternative to traditional linear economic models. With its emphasis on sustainability, resource conservation and innovative practices such as sharing, leasing, reusing, recycling and repairing, the circular economy offers a promising solution to our pressing environmental challenges. In this article, we will explore the fundamentals of the circular economy, its key principles and successful examples of its implementation. What is a circular economy and why is it gaining momentum today? The circular economy is an economic system that aims to redefine our approach to production, consumption and waste management. Unlike the traditional linear economy, which follows a take-make-dispose model, the circular economy seeks to keep resources in use for as long as possible and extract maximum value from them. It is a regenerative approach that minimizes waste, pollution and the depletion of natural resources. This concept is gaining momentum for several reasons. First and foremost, the circular economy offers a solution to the environmental challenges posed by our current linear economic model. It recognizes that the Earth's finite resources and our current consumption patterns are unsustainable. By adopting circular practices, we can reduce our ecological footprint, mitigate climate change, and preserve the planet for future generations. How does the circular economy differ from traditional linear economic models? And what are its fundamental principles? The circular economy follows three essential principles. One, designing out waste and pollution. In the circular economy, products are designed to be durable, repairable, and recyclable. By prioritizing longevity and resource efficiency, waste and pollution are minimized throughout the product's life cycle. Two, keeping products and materials in use. The circular economy promotes sharing, leasing, reusing and repairing. Instead of owning products, consumers can access shared resources such as car sharing or tool libraries. Leasing models allow businesses to retain ownership of products while consumers enjoy their benefits. Reusing and repairing products extend their lifespan, reducing the need for new production. Three. Regenerating natural systems. The circular economy recognizes the importance of natural capital and seeks to restore ecosystems. It emphasizes using renewable energy, responsible sourcing of materials, and restoring natural resources. What are some successful examples of circular economy practices? And how do they contribute to sustainability and resource conservation? Numerous successful examples demonstrate the viability and benefits of circular economy practices. One notable example is the sharing economy, which has revolutionized various industries. Companies like Airbnb and Uber allow individuals to share their underutilized resources, such as spare rooms and vehicles. This reduces the demand for new construction and car production minimizing resource consumption and emissions. Leasing models have also gained popularity in the circular economy. Instead of purchasing products outright, consumers can lease them for a specific period. This approach is prevalent in the fashion industry, where clothing rental services enable people to enjoy the latest trends without needing constant purchases. It reduces textile waste and encourages a shift from a disposable mindset to a more sustainable and conscious one. The circular economy represents a transformative paradigm that challenges the status quo and offers a viable path towards a sustainable future. By embracing the principles of waste reduction, resource efficiency and regenerative practices, we can create a world where economic growth aligns with environmental stewardship. It is through the collective efforts of businesses, governments and individuals that we can harness the potential of the circular economy 
and shape a more prosperous and resilient world for generations to come.